may or may not. Not sure yet. We'll see if the video holds. I couldn't help myself. This pipe's going on. I'm, a, I'm like a debt collector for a scooter swap shop. What you got there, Paul? I actually don't know what I have. You don't know what you have? Uh, belt sander. Belt sander? I thought you were gonna put it together for me. No. No? Not for the price we discussed. Yeah. So that goes underneath, think like this. So it fills that plastic area right behind the tail lights. That guy there. Got a front fender, the side pieces for the, the fender, right, that connects to the forks, these pieces. I really don't know what any of this is, but it looked cool, so I bought it. And then these are the two big pieces on the side yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, so that those are the big pieces on the side. And then I thought this would work good on the front because it's like that dark gray, so it kind of break up the front a little bit. So the entire kind of front and top will be black. So that's the front piece, and then the bottom lip is carbon, so the whole front section will all be black with the black windscreen, and the sides and everything will be gray. So it'll just be like carbon, dark gray, black. I think it'll work pretty good. So, yeah, Moss makes pretty good stuff. They do original 125 stuff, too. Check it out, it's, it's nice. They have a really nice weave. Right? Jog. All right, I'm in my home shop here. Always some fun stuff going on, but mainly what we're gonna do today uh, show you the T-Max, show you the products I got for it. And I I may do a little sound clip and then I may just install the pipe because it actually doesn't look that hard. I was expecting it to be quite a bit harder. Um, speaking with a few buddies, uh, the bummer part is couldn't really get a baseline on the dyno um, because I haven't gotten it in yet, but naturally I want to install it. So may or may not, not sure yet. We'll see if the video holds, but um, well, let me show you kind of what I have going on for the bike and what I have ready to go for it. First things first, uh, this is a Italian company, which I showed you earlier. Um, Termig, Termig, Termignoni, I'm guessing. Um, really, really nice product. Spoke with the guys at HRP and they turned me on to this brand. It's packed really well. Um, however, it's not, um, it's not cheap. Everything on this bike is pretty much sport bike level as far as quality goes. Um, these, you can't really get into a good pipe for less than, 700 bucks to 1500 somewhere in there um it's pretty crazy but it is what it is really nice though uh, really nice headers obviously they put some um, design and engineering into the lengths as well because look like they're equal and then you've got this little um, section here which joins the two headers together you got a slip fit here and here and looks like a couple spring connections so one spring connection here you got a spring connection here and here here and here to hold that slip fit together. And then you've got one from here and here and on the other side as well for the flanges. But overall, looks like some CNC ends. A really nice kind of a satin. So it's all stainless, but it's got a really nice, um, really nice satin finish to it. All the welds look really good. This section here, which I believe was a cat, is not a cat. It's just a section that I don't really understand the theory behind it, but, um, but uh, yeah, so it's got this kind of bigger section here in the middle and then this is a catalytic converter, which if you want, you've got this little tiny weld here you can pop off to put the cat on. That's the, the, the front section and the theory it just sits like this under the bike, kind of like that. The um, exhaust is actually pretty cool. Um, it's dual all the way up to the top and then you can see there, uh, it's actually really easy to get to. I was expecting it to be a lot harder, but it actually looks really simple. Sound this is really nice. You've got your um, O2 sensor here as well. It's just massive, you can see my hand. That looks like about two, two inch probably. Um, full carbon can, I uh, got your logo there. Really, really nice product. Looks like you can change these out too. I've got another one in the box, but that wraps up the exhaust. And from my understanding, this exhaust system with a dyno jet or similar with a Melosi filter gets you around a 10 wheel horse gain, which is cool. So now we're gonna go over to the Melosi box. Got your candy in there, you got your pie that's gonna expire soon. Some blow pops in there, some crank seals, toothbrush, and some levers. And there's something else in there, some giant rollers nice. too. Ooh, yeah, those giant rollers are real good. 
<laughs> what the engine case? You gotta get a picture of that one. That's great. Oh, yeah. Uh, this yeah, one, this like one a, doesn't have as many items because it has one very valuable item. Did you put item. some stickers in there? Um, I think this one's actually gonna be two bags, kind of stapled together. The two bagger. Two bagger. Whoever gets this is gonna feel extra special. That's a good did one. Did you put a, a thank you in there, Paul? Um, did you not just hear what I said? I said two it's gonna bagger? be a two bagger. Look at. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at Paul's bags. How they're organized. Look at Rana's bags. Yeah, you're gonna be able to tell who packed yours. Yeah, mine looks way better than yours. Okay, yeah. mine looks like wow, like this a three-year-old <laughs> put it together. <laughs> yeah, I think my daughter actually I've... did. Is that, was, did my daughter do that? No. It's got studs in there. Studs. Oh, it's like an old boss. Two, Couple two bosses. Of them. Oh, V Force. V Force reads. Banshee. Banshee V Force reads. Got an intake, a pie, cherry pie. Oh, how old is that pie? Is that one going to expire soon? From, from me to you. So we've got a pretty sweet torsion controller. Looks like it's billet. Really nice cup. So we've got a torsion controller that goes in the back part of the CVT. We have a belt. This is huge. Apparently the uh, stock belts don't work well with the over ranges. But yeah, this thing is just massive. This belt is huge. It's probably an inch and a, maybe an inch and a quarter. That should be a really nice gain. We have a Melosi drop-in filter. Now we'll get to the the real fun stuff here. This is stuff is just crazy to me. So in comparison, I don't really have small hands. I think I have pretty good size hands and um, that fills up the whole thing. These are about, uh, looks like about eight inches, seven inches or so. Really cool. It looks like it's got a hardened steel spline in the middle. This is gonna be your, um, uh, this is gonna be your your dry face there. It's just a monster. Really nice Melosi made in Italy. Again, guys, comment below if you want us to bring in parts for these bikes. They are really cool. Um, they have a ton of potential. The stuff is not cheap for them, but as you can imagine, this is really cool because it's a hardened steel spline that's probably, looks like it's cast into the aluminum is my guess. Pretty expensive to make that stuff. We've looked into it, it's really costly. Contra spring, uh, this thing is huge. So this is gonna be a pain to get on. That's gonna be in the back part of the CVT, of course, <laughs> this thing. Okay, so this is your rear torque driver, okay? Um, if you're looking at a, a, say a CVT on a Zuma, that's gonna be your dry face where your variator is. That's gonna be your rear pulley. Um, and then that's gonna be your Contra. So yeah, this thing is a, this thing is an absolute monster. It's huge. Big, nice fat rivets in there too, which is pretty cool. Um, that center looks like it's hardened steel and then the outer is all billet. Aluminum looks like it's, they've got it weighted as well or balanced, I should say. So really nice quality piece, you can tell. Seals and stuff for that guy in here. You've got this massive variator. Not as big as the, the drive face, just to give you an idea. You know, Zuma variator is about this big, all in all. From my understanding, this and this, this piece with the Contra and the belt, completely changes the way this bike runs. What my plan is with this bike is to do basically everything you see here. Okay, oil change, spark plugs, and valve adjustment and run it. And this winter we'll tear the whole bike down. We'll do the Melosi big bore cylinders. We'll put the cams in there. Um, probably do throttle bodies. Just right now, apparently that's a massive undertaking on this bike. It's a lot of work to get all these fairings off. I don't really wanna do it until I have the bike on the stand and the shop is dead and I have a good week to spend on it. Um, because right now we're so buried. I'm doing this at home at, what time is it? 8.45 right now at night because we're so slammed at the shop. I don't have time to do this at the shop. So yeah, pretty stoked about it. This is kind of my game plan with the bike. All these things here, you know, if you're looking to do this, you're about uh, about 2000 bucks for everything you see here. But it's all Italian. Everything's extremely high quality. This is not a bike that you're gonna skimp on. Um, R6, it has full, our same brakes as R6 on the front. Um, but this is giant, huge rotor in the back too. This is not a bike that you're gonna buy parts for and cut corners and skip on because if, if you have problems, you have a part that fails or whatever. It's a lot of work to get into this bike, to take everything apart, to get to everything. The exhaust looks like it's pretty easy to do. The rest of the stuff, I mean, this is even this stuff here. By the time you get on the lift and do the work, my guess is you're probably, you know, just the variator CVT stuff. I'm guessing you're probably four hours, probably four hours of work to get it apart and get it together and get it back in. I got the bar and it's got the Melosi windscreen on, which turned out really cool. You guys, if you want to see us bring more of these parts in or work on this bike, just comment below. I don't know if there's really a lot of people that are going to be interested in doing these bikes. Fun fact, this bike is only a hundred pounds heavier than a Helix. 
and 100 pounds heavier than a CH250. And stock, they're, from my understanding, they're about 32 wheel horsepower stock. Um, with this stuff here, it should put me right, or 32 to 33 wheel horsepower stock. This should put me right at about 40, 41. So eight to 10 wheel horsepower gain with just this stuff, that's pretty big. That's quite a bit. Um, and from my understanding, the CVT is going to be a night and day difference, which that's what I'm really looking forward to. And the sound, it's pretty quiet. I'll go ahead and start it up and let you guys hear a sound clip as well. And then I have a feeling like I'm not going to be able to stop myself from installing this exhaust from the next couple of days. Um, but at least I get a sound clip now. You can hear what it sounds like and then do a comparison side by side. All right, guys, here's a stock T-Max exhaust. You guys can hear it. So if you're looking to get a T-Max or, or you guys are curious about them, they typically range in the realm of um, 4,000 to 6,000 bucks used somewhere in there. So not exactly cheap. I don't know how many people would be interested in, in, in getting them, but if you guys uh, want more information about the bike, about the parts or whatever, let us know down below. We're just gonna kind of keep rolling through and just doing different bikes and building different bikes out. Cause this is something totally new to me. It's something I've kind of always wanted. I've seen a lot of videos and whatnot. If you haven't, Google search uh, T-Max wheelies and, and T-Max turbo. There's a ton of guys doing crazy stuff, drifting burnouts wheelies on these things. They're really popular. Not really so much here in the United States, but um, in other areas, they're really popular. So go ahead and post up um, questions you guys have. You wanna see more things. We're obviously gonna do an install of all this stuff at, at some given point, but I don't know exactly when the ETA is gonna be on that. Yeah, so post up below and let us know what you guys think. All right, I couldn't help myself. This pipe's going on. Again, we're gonna try to do dyno video and all that good stuff and super professional install video and all that whatnot, but that is not gonna happen um, because uh, I'm gonna put this thing on. First things first, here's the cat that was in it. Um, from my understanding, they have to send these in these things. And this guy was just here. There was a, there was just a little tiny tack weld here. Pop that tack weld off and just beat this thing out, popped right out. Well, all right, let's see here. So I've taken these two guys off of the main system. And I feel like the best bet to install these, I don't know if I can install them at the same time. I'm probably gonna slip them together and see if I can slide them both up at the same time um, and put the um, put the springs on them as well. I think I can get them both on at the same time. You know what I'm doing, why are you asking me? <laughs> because you're on camera. <laughs> <clears throat> I knew that. Uh, calling the guy who owes us some money. I'm, a, I'm like a debt collector for a scooter swap shop. You're like you're like dog the bounty hunter of sort of, of scooters. Sorta. Of. You're like I'd say more. Um, you're like pup the bounty hunter, not dog. <laughs> uh, well, I was gonna uh, more more of a debt collector. More of a debt collector. Okay. Yeah, because like a bounty hunter, you're going after something. Okay. And you get money in return. I'm going after the person who owes us. Okay. So if Brandon was to give you money, you'd, you'd go after this guy. He's Beyond giving, like your hourly he's giving wage. Me money. Beyond your hourly wage. Yeah. Well, I'm not getting he would, he would send you out to Florida to get this money? <clears throat> I'm not getting any money beyond my hourly rate. Okay. Wait. Hourly rage? <laughs> Alright, give him a call. <clears throat> see, <throat> see what he says. Get his rage every hour. <clears throat> Because he called earlier and I caught it, but then as soon as I answered, he hung up, so. Pay up! Bitch. So underneath the bike, it looks, uh, looks like these are 12s, I'm guessing. So you've just got four 12s, two on one side and two on the other. If I take those off, that should make the header, um, that should make the header loose from the that part of the motor. I don't feel any mounts back here, uh, so it looks like you've got the four 12s up there to take that guy off. And then you've got your, uh, you got your O2 sensor here. And then, wow, you got a mount here. So that's kind of crazy. Looks like no other brackets back here. Yeah, so it's just the four bolts up front and the one in the back. That's uh, super simple. Let's get a 12 and uh, yeah, let's get a 12 and get this thing on. That 
was insane. That was five minutes to take that off. One thing really cool about this bike, I'll show you guys, <laughs> which is why I really appreciate Yamaha and Honda and whatnot, is you've got your two um, exhaust outlets here on your head. What's funny is they put purposely put this here so you can get to this um, because you can't quite get to it from the other angle. So um, little stuff like this I get a kick out of because they obviously have put design and engineering into um, into servicing these bikes, which is really cool. All right, let's get these headers on this. Uh, man, this is it's crazy easy. I did not expect it to be this easy. Really cool. they call this the midsection on and then it joins together here and then you've got your springs all i really need to do now up in this area is connect the the springs there to these lower hook that's going to hold the headers flanges onto the cylinders it's hard to see so you can see how they fit up in there uh really crazy easy to get to it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get that o-ring in there and then also you've got this kind of connection piece right there. It's kind of a little bit of a slip fit that joins those two cylinders together, probably an equalization pipe of some sort, but um, uh, really cool. Just gonna go ahead and put it all together, put these springs on, probably last I'll mock the, um, get the silencer all bolted up, get the O2 in. Once I get that in, then I'll just kind of work my way back through the system, get all the springs on, tighten everything down. But overall, this is super easy. Not what I was expecting. Pretty rad to, to do this and expecting something to be a total nightmare and, and have it be really easy. This is all on. Um, really easy to put on. Simple job. We did take out the um, uh, the two little DB killers, because one sounded like it was whistling really bad, it was really weird, and the other one's really quiet. This is just a straight through design. But let's fire it up, and you guys can hear it. It sounds really good. And actually it doesn't sound like it sounds, a, I mean, it sounds loud next to it, but riding it, it's not really that bad. It doesn't really sound obnoxious or anything. Um, sounds pretty cool. Also last night I put this uh, carbon on here as well in this bottom piece. Um, we have quite a bit uh, coming as well. We have all of this stuff is gonna be carbon. And then the sides, just because I kind of like the mix up of colors i like that i felt like this whole area is way too much silver um so in theory all this down the middle is going to be black and then the seat and the top's black so your silver is going to be the side pieces and then the back that's going to be carbon this side piece mm, this section as well this section is going to be and then back here uh there's a cool part that actually fills in this whole area so this whole back area will be it too so nothing too crazy they make more stuff that's carbon but i just kind of didn't want to go way too overboard with it but there you, ha you guys have it uh exhaust sounds really cool can't wait till i get the cvt tuned that'll just bring more life to this bike but um said and done super high quality very easy to install anybody can do it with a simple um, hand tool kit but uh, yeah, super stoked with it. Uh, it was a really, really easy job.
day. Thanks for watching. Oh, hey, there's a cop. <laughs> <laughs>